Hey guys, Johnny Bird here, back in another video, and today we're back here in College Sheriff Tycoon, where today we'll be covering the recently added Lamborghini Centenario. Let me just find it real quick. The Lamborghini Centenario Limited here uh, for 8.8 .8 million dollars or 800 Robux. Ow. Um, so, yeah. Uh, very, very nice looking car. Um, apparently it's decent looking, uh, from the back, but we'll check it out. I'm going to see how it performs in drag race as well as circuit race and see if it's worth this $8.8 .8 million price tag. Um, if you didn't see my last limited review, I think we covered this, uh, Lamborghini SC20. No, the last one was the, uh, couldn't take one to one. Yes. Um, the last Lamborghini one was this SC20, which is honestly not that great. Um, but yeah, so make sure to, let's, uh, let's just make sure to buy this if, while you can, because this thing is pretty cool looking. Um, so let's buy this right now. Boom. There we go. And yeah, so we're going to spawn this right now. So from, from the front, very accurate looking from the, to the real one. Uh, but when we go to the back, actually, you know what? That's very accurate. It's still very accurate while also not being the real one. And you can also see part of the engine as well, which is pretty cool. So this thing is fully exposed carbon fiber. And the only thing you customize is those accents. So let's just go back here. Machina. Sunza. So that, that's the only bit you can customize. I don't know what that little bit does. Uh, ah, okay. So the secondary part of the body, you can change the little... Um, like spring color in the uh, rear so yeah pretty cool I'm just gonna make it so it kind of matches like that very very nice and I'll make the wheels uh, black um, yeah 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 so these are fully carbon fiber rims as well I'm not sure just gonna match that um, very nice, and then calipers, blah blah blah, obviously you can customize the interior as well, and uh, yeah, so very very nice, I'm just going to lower this, and yeah, so very very nice looking, super aggressive, obviously we got that iconic triple tail light from the Centenario, and a very nice wing actually, and yeah. Let's just hear this. Uh, oh, you guys are gonna hear it, but I'm just gonna hear it. Um, wow, this thing actually sounds very good. Wow. Um, so yeah, very, very, very nice. I love that sound. Um, so this has a six and a half liter V12. Very, very nice sounding. Uh, so here are the stats. So we have a top speed of 226 miles per hour. Handling 9.1 drive trimmers, all wheel drive, 72 dollars from point of view dealerships, and 3,132 per mile. You can you can add spoilers if you want. I wouldn't suggest you would, but you know you can add a Santa on the back if you want. <laughs> um, yeah, very very nice. So I'm just gonna drive this over uh, to drag race. I'm just gonna quickly see how the acceleration is. Uh, very decent, actually. It's not too bad, but I think it, for its price, there are better options. Um, obviously, it does have an air brake. Uh, so, yeah, very cool. And this thing does go up. If you turn off this oh, spoiler, always upsetting, which I have it on. But, yeah. So, we're going to test this on Drag Race right now. Um, I really do like this car. I didn't think I would actually like it. But this thing is pretty good. Also, uh, for these reviews, like I like always, I only put race tires on. I don't use turbo upgrades or engine upgrades, just so it's fair. Um, so yeah. So without further ado, let's just do this half mile. Three, two, one, and yeah. So acceleration, as you get into third gear, gets pretty quick. Um. But I do find that it's actually pretty slow. 12.2 for 8.8 .8 million. I think that's slower than the Rimac. Or even the Devo. Like, uh, like non-upgraded. So, yeah. Um, 
I don't think you should use for drag, but let's see how it performs on the circuit race. So let's just quickly drive. Actually, no, I'll just teleport over there because it's annoying to drive over there now. Um, yeah, circuit race. Boom. I've actually been practicing on the circuit recently because of the trophy season, which I covered in my last video. If you guys haven't watched that, I will put it at the end or like the the video suggestions pop up and stuff so yeah check that out um but yeah uh this thing looks pretty cool obviously do fight laps here but yeah very very cool looking especially in this little menu right here um and the interior is very nice as well very, definitely resembles the actual car i'm just gonna quickly mute the sound and yeah so Without further ado, let's just get this started. Um, so yeah, like I said, initial acceleration is pretty good. This thing takes the corners very well. It's all-wheel drive. Uh, and yeah, very, very nice. Um, obviously, I sound muted, but this thing probably sounds amazing. Actually, it does sound amazing. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, brakes are actually pretty decent. Um, the SC20, I think, was more, but it's worse uh i'm pretty sure uh let's just see here yeah 10 million this is i think the brakes are worse on this handling is worse on that as well but yeah this thing is pretty cool um honestly handles very well uh, i'm obviously not warmed up right now but yeah i just crashed um but anyways not that bad um pretty pretty cool obviously very customizable too which is one thing that i really like um, especially with all this exposed carbon, I'm pretty sure that this is, uh, like a cool thing. Although I wish that you could actually take off the carbon fiber and just paint it, like a full body. Because I know there are a couple of Tenshinaras, Tenshinaras in real life that have that kind of option. And it looks arguably better than the ones with the full carbon body, full exposed carbon. Um, so yeah. Um, but this takes corners pretty well. As long as you brake at the right time and you turn and you use the throttle correctly and stuff, this thing can perform pretty well, especially with upgrades. Obviously, it's without upgrades. So um, if you guys buy upgrades and use it, it might be a different case for you guys. Maybe it's maybe it's worse than this corners because it's too fast. I don't know. But uh, yeah, if you guys do have this and you guys use this with upgrades and stuff, let me know how it performs because I'm actually curious. I'm probably never going to buy upgrades on this. But, uh, yeah, honestly, though, like, this thing looks great. I love the rear end on this, especially uh, especially on the rear one, uh, the real one. But um, this fake one actually looks super accurate, too, with this knife edge diffuser and stuff like that. Um, and then the front obviously looks super accurate as well. Obviously not as aggressive, though, but it, it definitely resembles it very well. Um, so, oh, yeah. Uh, obviously I break too late there, but, uh, it's not that bad. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Like, there's nothing much to say for this car. Uh, all right, so we're on that last lap here and we are coursing through this race. Um, so yeah, uh, you, honestly, bro, this, this circuit is not that bad. I did actually, I was practicing the other day because of the season and stuff. I had to grind. Um, and I was using a 300 plus this thing, I, to have that, I got a 32.1 best lap with it, um, on a 255 flat, um, uh, total time, which is pretty good. Also. That's not bad for its price. It's not that bad. I'm pretty sure it performed better than the SC20. So yeah, best lap 38.2. Total time 3 minutes 23 seconds. Well, basically 24. Um, so yeah, very nice. Uh, looks super cool while doing it. And yeah, so very awesome. Um, uh, do I recommend this car though? Okay, it depends on what you're going to use it for. If you're going to use it for racing, then no. You would rather buy something like um, like the Rimac Nevera 
which got an interior. I didn't even realize it got an interior. What the heck? Um, <laughs> anyways, um, or you can buy even the Bugatti Divo, which is better on the tracks than this. Hold on, this got an interior? Wow. Anyways, uh, my fault, my fault. Um, but yeah. So yeah, don't use this for racing. This thing isn't very good on the, on the drag race or circuit for that matter. But uh, if you guys want to, then go ahead. But it's not that great. Um, the, uh, as of this recording, there's still 16 hours of the Times 2 Money event this weekend. So yeah, obviously I'm pretty sure I'll be posting this tomorrow on a weekday on Monday. So yeah, it'll be over by then. But you guys will still have... Uh, oh crap. Five days. Well, maybe four days when I upload this. But yeah. So yeah, should you buy this though? Um, not for racing, but if for a collection, yes. Obviously, it's a limited, so you're probably gonna get something cool as an OG wrap. Uh, so yeah, definitely pick this up while you can. You guys have roughly four days as when I upload this. So yeah. And make sure to pick this up while you can, guys. Um,. Yeah, they're probably going to wrap up today's video. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to smash the like button, hit that subscribe button, also tap that bell notification icon if you guys get notified when I push a new video or go live. Um, a quick recap, we covered the brand new, well, we're not covered, but we reviewed the brand new Lamborghini Centenario Limited here for $8.8 .8 million, $8 .8 million or 800 full bucks. So yeah, it's honestly pretty good for what it is. Um... It looks very good. It sounds really good. It looks, in the, yeah, it looks really good. Um, and it has decent performance too. Got some decent times on uh, circuit. It got decent time on circuit. Not that great on track though. Um, so yeah, make sure to buy this for like, your collection. Don't use this for racing unless you really, really want to. But if you really want something for racing, just pick up something like a Bugatti Devo or even a Rimac Navera. Which are these two? They're cheaper than this. Um, yeah, four days left to get this as of this recording. So I'm two money event. So yeah, um, but as this video, when this video is uploaded, it'll be over. So yeah. Um, anyways, though, on that note, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.